Well, ACM ICPC actually got started at Texas A&M in 1970. Uh, the UPE uh, chapter there decided to invite students from other universities to come and compete. Back then, teams were four for a very simple reason. The number of students who showed up was four times the number of key punch machines, so they had to do it that way. You know, later on we changed to three because it turns out that three people are a little more productive in terms of communication than four in our area. Uh, anyway, everybody loved it and it caught on and uh, and other uh, and back then almost everything in computing in the West uh, was done in the context of the of the ACM, the Association for Computing Machinery. We had two meetings a year in which everybody came together who were computer scientists. When I graduated from school, there were only 750 of us in the world, you know? And uh, we uh, had this wonderful conference. We're problem solvers, and uh, the students would come, and, and, uh, and we were divided up into 12 regions, and each of the regional representatives agreed to uh, 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 encourage a faculty member or university to host a, a competition. So in 1977, we had the very first finals of the programming contest that had had developed. Uh, and then it just got better and better and better and better. Uh, we try to never make the same mistake for the same reason. Granted, there are a few mistakes that have 40 reasons. <laughs> no, we're hoping it'll go away. But that's, that's the fun in life. It turns out that there were great people everywhere in the world who love problem solving, who understood what computing was as not only a sport, but as an art. You see, in the same way that musical composers compose music to be played, we compose software systems to perform, perform lots of tasks. And of course today, we have to orchestrate different systems that we have to work in this wonderful world of cyberspace. So the contest just has evolved and evolved and evolved. And 20 years ago, IBM stepped forward and said, hey, we'd like to host, I'm sorry, we'd like to sponsor the ACM programming contest. And we just expanded and expanded. So today, the contest is in 102 countries. There are 2,700 universities involved over 5,000 coaches, 40,000 contestants worldwide. And of course, they compete in the regional contests in the fourth quarter, come to the world finals, and we shine the spotlight on them. You know, the bottom line is they create the solutions and the instruments, and in fact, uh, uh, the environment uh, that other people can use to express themselves express themselves in the art of living uh, and the art of loving, I hope. <laughs>